Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody, let's discuss the situation on the euro currency. Well guys, uh, in fact the action that we have expected to see now stands in progress, so you will see that market has turned to the downside. Uh, well, uh, when I today have taken the first look at the chart, it's, for me it appears to be a bit curious that market has turned down prior to the hitting of the resistance there. So, as you can see, price hasn't quite reached the weekly period resistance, 150% resistance, and has turned somewhere between the 3.8 resistance and 50% resistance of that thrust down. So it's a bit um, not as comfortable as it could be if market starts move from here. At the same time, we have the bearish pattern on our side, on our back, that is the bearish stop grabber. Since here, you can see that market has trying to shift trend on bullish side touching and crossing the CMACD predictor line, red line, but has failed and turned to the downside. Now it has hit the weekly pivot point, the first time for the current week. The minimum target of this pattern is the lows, why, why it, is it called the stop grabber, uh, the, the opposite lows in the opposite directions right here. And if market really will reach this area and grab the stops that have been placed here, it will be a very small distance till the 618 minor extension of that A, B, C top pattern. And take a look at that 618 extension of that big A, B, C D pattern stands in agreement with the yearly pivot point of 2014. It's 13475 area. Uh, we have discussed this moment, guys, in our weekly research and said that is F, as market stands really close to the yearly pivot point and the yearly pivot point works as the magnet for the prices since uh, markets has the tendency and gravitates to the uh, pivot points within the year. It's very high probability that the market will make an attempt or try to uh, test this area in the beginning of the year. If we will measure a bit smaller distance for instance right from here let's check check where is this will be well in this case the ABCD pattern of the smaller size not from the top but from the uh, point where this real move down has started from that area well stands also very close at 13020 area so maybe market will turn to some sort of the ABCD action to the downside something of that sort. But anyway, as some grabbers suggest to take it out of these lows and if market will really do this, it's, very, uh, it's really hard to imagine that market will turn to the downside right from that area because it will stand in this case between the uh, 618 and 100% of this minor ABCD and uh, it's, as we said previously the market's very rare turns uh, when it stands between the targets. Usually market shows the re reversal from the target, at the target. So, uh, and speaking about this larger ABCD patient, the same story. So, so if market will take out of this low hardly it will turn to the upside, uh, just without touching, just for a few pips, the 618 target and yearly pivot point. So uh, now market has tested the weekly pivot point. Although, guys, we have the really uh, bearish setup on our back, so we have the pattern, we have the trend in our favor. Still, uh, some potential uh, upward continuation still a bit worries me. So I, I can't say that I absolutely um, comfortable with the, this current reversal to the downside. Well, that's why we probably should keep an eye on how retracement right back up will, will develop. So if we take a look at the four-hour time frame chart you'll see that market now stands in the natural support resistance line. Trend has shifted bearish as well on the 4-hour time frame chart. Take a look at this purple line. So you can see the support. Support again, break down, resistance, 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 break up, support. Now it stands up again at the support area. Uh, 
So if market will turn to the downside and will pass through this, this will add us the confidence that probably market really will continue move down. But this will be will happen probably a bit later. Also, guys, this purple line is, as we said, the weekly pivot point. So the second confirmation is that if market will move below it, then the short-term sentiment will shift to the bearer side as well. So you can see market now stands at the weekly pivot point. At the same time, since this is the support, market probably should show some bounce to the upside. So if we take a look at the hourly time frame chart, that is our butterfly that we have discussed yesterday. Although market, as I said, has continued to move higher, but it was able to accomplish just 127 extension of the butterfly. It's right here, this blue line. Uh, although we, we have suggested the move to the 13618 to the 137.20 uh, resistance cluster and probably the market should touch the weekly pivot resistance, but that hasn't happened. That's why it's a bit worse me this moment. That's why, uh, and by this reason, I think that we should be extra careful with this possible retracement up. So we should monitor how price will show the retracement. In particular speaking, I do not want to see the erasing of this nasty downward candle. So, so I prefer to see the uh, not very extended retracement. In particular speaking, if market will stop right at the confidence resistance around 136.55 area, that will be just perfect. So if we see this minor bounce and downward continuation, that will be excellent. But I do not want to see such sort of the candles, but in the opposite direction. And I do not want to see the erasing of this nasty candle to the downside. So if market will return right back up, move above the 618 resistance and erase this downward action, that will be a uh, not very good development for a bearish, uh, bearish scenario. So let's see what will happen. First of all, let's keep an eye on this resistance area and if this is really a reversal to the downside and if really the stop grabber will start to work on the daily time frame chart I suspect that this area should be suitable for taking the short position although as you can see uh, this stands rather far from our invalidation point invalidation point is this top because that that is the top of the stop grabber on the daily time frame chart it's right here Stop grabber uh, will be treated as erased and destroyed if market will return right back up and take out of these highs of this pattern. On the hourly time frame ch chart, this high stands right here. So that's absolute invalidation point. But the first warning sign will come if market, as I said, will erase this candle. That's why um, I suspect that we should keep an eye on this area. Uh, it will be probably not very simple to deal with it because um, if market will pass through this area uh, the chances that it will erase this candle and continue move high will increase that's why one of the way how we could act here it should be for instance market will hit this target we could take the short with the stop slightly higher than this confidence resistance somewhere around 136.65 area or something of that sort when the market starts bounce as the respect of this area you could move the stop to the break even right to the area of this confidence resistance because if market on the second test will pass through it it will tell us that probably market could really continue move to the upside because that is the confidence resistance and it should survive if market really has intention to continue move down this is rather enough retracement for uh, respect the weekly pivot point and uh, to reestablish more to the downside. Also, guys, take a look that this confluence coincides with the 50% resistance of this big candle, some sort of the Moriboto uh, pattern, candlestick pattern. So um, that is common uh, way to deal with the with, with the retracements uh, when you have no chances to play some tight stop, reasonable tight stop. It's better to uh, focus on the re on the confluence resistance and work with it, and use the stops around this confluence resistance. Uh, I, I hope that you understand the logic of the placing stop first here. The market sh sh will start to bounce down, uh, move its stop to the break even because if this is really, as I said, bearish market, market should reestablish move to the downside. Retracement right to the confluence resistance will be enough. But if something is wrong with this move to the downside. Uh, in this case, market could pass through it, and if you will take the stop, place stop some right here, 
the risk will be too significant for the current trade. Well, and moving through this confluence will increase the probability of uh, erasing of this candle and upward some upward move that we would do not want to take the part in. So that's why uh, let's try to uh, look at this confluence and let's see what will happen. But as I said, uh, right now we have in general bearish setup trend is bearish here on the forward time frame chart on the hourly time frame chart we have the bearish stop grabber and recall that on the weekly time frame chart this is in fact the bearish engulfing pattern since this move down engulfs approximately the four week action on the weekly time frame chart and that could be just the normal development of the big engulfing pattern so a b c d uh, as it usually happens when we deal with the engulfing patrons on the lower time frame chart um, that's why maybe this is it, maybe this is a really market will start move to the downside and test the yearly pivot point. But that is just some uh, some insurance uh, to not get in the trap if market uh, really will continue move to the upside. I hope that this will not happen, but still we should be prepared for that scenario as well. So that's why I uh, offer you to trying to uh, work around this confluence resistance first and let's see what will happen.